Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. Welcome to the unboxing of the Steel Magna by Bomb Frog. Yes, you heard it right, Bomb Frog. Only the crazy Germans could come up with a watch name like that one. But the watch itself looks a little more orthodox. A cushion case turtle style dive watch with a Seiko NH35 movement. This one's gonna get the full two video treatment. I'm really interested to see how that NH35 gets on. Let's flip the camera and get into the box. All right then, here it is, the Bomb Frog Steel Magna. Sounds like an 80s Schwarzenegger movie. Arnie is Steel Magna. Though I'm expecting inside the contents to be a little more orthodox perhaps than the, the name would suggest. I'm gonna do the full two-parter, oops, when I get the box open. Oh, harder than it looked. Maybe I should have got Arnie to open the box. I'm gonna do the full two-parter on this one. Um, I think it'll be really interesting for me anyway. This is the first encounter I've had with the Seiko NH35 movement. Now these things are just about ubiquitous. They're in a whole bunch of micro brands. Here we go, Bomb Frog. Very nice, a little polishing cloth there. Just love that logo. Looks sensational. And there is the watch. A big cushion case diver. Let's have a closer look. Okay, so nice polishing cloth as noted. We've got an instruction manual, full guarantee card there, 12 month warranty on the Bomb Frog. And there we are zoomed in on the watch and it's really, really good looking so far. Classic cushion case, 44 mil in diameter, 41 mil uh, across the bezel, 20 mil lugs though. I always like a slightly smaller lug. I think it adds a little bit of elegance to the watch. Crown at four o'clock, date window at three. We've got a loom pip on the bezel, nice applied indices and hands. I'll zoom in on those just a little. Obviously loving the Bomb Frog logo and the big branding on the dial as well. And we've got that dome sapphire crystal, just a little bit of doming. You can see the AR coating there, giving this thing just a mad purple blue hue to it, a real kind of glow. It's a black dial but it just looks incredible. I've never seen so much uh, blue coming off of a piece of glass before. I think it looks amazing. The whole thing has a bit of a, a neon glow about it. Flipping over to the case back, uh, Bomb Frog Germany, the logo again on the back there. Nice brushing, uh, nice polishing on the sides actually, nice brushing and we've got a bit of brush on the lug and 500 meters water resistant. This on my horological journey so far takes the new crown as most water resistant watch that I've seen. So very, very interesting. Uh, no signed crown and no signed tang buckle, which is a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, the leather strap looks pretty good though. Nice stitched, genuine leather, quite thick as well. Suits the um, aesthetic of the watch. Let's have a shot of the bezel. Very positive bezel action there, quite noisy but good, and no play either. That actually looks a lot like a, a Seiko insert there, I'll see if I can do a bit of a comparison for the full review. But so far so good on the Bomb Frog. Nice bezel, nice edge there, easy to grip as well. Let's have a zoom in on the dial. Okay, so that's about as close in as I can get. There's quite a lot of texture on the hands. There's little uh, stripes on the back of the hands. You've got a, a bevel shape to them as well. Uh, what look to be applied indices all the way around. And a really nice touch, that little second hand with a loom pip and also a little red pip there. So very, very easy to spot. Nice border around the, the date window. And that AR coating is just mad. The whole watch really, dancing, it comes alive. Let's pop out the crown. Crown at four, again, very much like the Seiko Turtle. One pop doesn't do anything. Uh, whoops, there we are, nope, we must have gone beyond the date set. Oh, we've got a hand winding there. Oh, date adjustment, if I roll it back. And uh, one more pull and we've got the time adjustment there. So looking forward to seeing how accurate this NH35 is. They're pretty good movements. 
you know, found in anything from uh, $100 Invictus right up to five, six, seven hundred dollar micro brands. The price on this one, if you're buying outside of the EU, is around 300 US dollars. I put the proper price on the, the thumbnail. It obviously changes with exchange rate, but looking pretty good so far. Uh, turtle for those who think outside of the box, perhaps. Uh, definitely a, a left field choice, but I think you're going to have a lot of fun with a bomb frog on your wrist. And there it is sitting on my 7-inch wrist. Now, 44, usually a little large for me, but because of that cushion case, it actually wears much smaller, coming in at just under 100 grams on this leather strap as well. I think it looks pretty sweet. Because it's 20 mil lugs in this house, everything that comes in on 20 mil gets swapped onto a collar red. I'll have some fun with this one, playing around with straps over the next couple of weeks. And there we go, a bit of a cheeky sneak preview. That's it on a collar red Venezia. Big thank you to Dirk for sending me this one for review. I'm looking forward to wearing it out and about. I'll see you in the next video, if not before. Thank you for watching.